wondering what Yanukovych would do when he went to Moscow on December 17th. We knew that he had pulled out of the European Union, but we weren't quite sure what he was going to do in Moscow. There had been rumor that he was going to create a customs, he was going to join a customs union with Moscow. Well, we found out on December 17th and 18th from a very important group of think tankers that what he agreed to in Moscow was much worse than a customs union. We weren't quite sure what that meant. What they put down was first, Putin had demanded from Yanukovych for that damn $15 billion that he gave him and the cheaper gas, supposed cheaper gas that he gave him, that he had demanded first that the internal structure and personnel of Ukraine would change. One. Two, that Ukraine would have to join a military-style union. A military-style, a counter-NATO. And three, finally, a customs union. As if that were an after-effect. No economic union, because by the time that this would be finished, the oligarchs, the Ukrainian oligarchs would be eaten by the, by the Russian oligarchs anyway. So the point was, at first, we were worried about that second point, that it was going to be a military union. We had already been offered a military union in our Ukrainian history 300 years ago when Khmelnytsky signed with the Tsars, and that didn't turn out very well for us. But nobody had noticed that first point. The first point was internal changes, internal changes of personnel and internal legal changes. Well, we found out on January 16th what those internal changes were all about. What they essentially did is they took away Ukrainian democracy and gave us a kind of dictatorship, the slick kind of dictatorship that Putin has, or more important, possibly a dictatorship of the open kind that Lukashenko has. That's 